In this video, I'm going to be going through logistic regression and how to use TensorFlow in order to play around with that. But before we get through to uh, TensorFlow, I really want to show you what logistic regression is all about. Right? So uh, we're going to import NumPy, and just for future refer reference, I want to show you what the sigmoid function looks like. So it takes in a number, negative, positive, doesn't really matter, and it squeezes it into a number between 0 and 1. Okay, so see, notice how negative 6 is really close to 0, and positive 6 is really close to 1. And now we're going to create some synthetic data. Okay, so uh, we're going to create 1,000 instances. The, the weight matrix is going to be 5, so the dimensionality is going to be 5. Okay, so x, uh, so we create an n by d matrix. W is going to be a d by 1 matrix. Right, so why is it's just as exactly the same as linear regression? I'm going to uh, matrix multiply that, that with w. Now, the main trick over here is uh, I'm going to say if y is negative, I set that to 0. If y is positive, I set that to 1. Okay, so that's what the data set looks like. Okay, and just so that I can show you, there's a few examples. Let's just do this. Okay, so you see a whole bunch of zeros and ones. Okay, um, so I suppose I uh, split it up to train and test, but let's let's just skip this for now. Okay, so the main thing that we need to focus on is again the loss function, right? So the loss function looks like this. It's the the true y multiplied this thing called activation function. So what does the activation function look like? So we we still have the z, uh, which is, which is effectively w multiplied by x. And then this z, I'm going to squeeze through a, through a sigmoid, okay, so that I get a, and a is going to be a number between 0 and 1. All right, so this a is really what's going to be fed into here. All right, so, so keep that in mind. So all, all we effectively done is, let me just show you in here, is we said that uh, instead, of, instead of, before I think in uh, uh, linear regression, I had y hat equals wx. Now this time my y hat, I've called that a instead, is going to be the sigmoid of wx. Okay, so it makes the problem slightly harder in terms of finding derivatives. But that's not really too much of a problem. We're going to be using chain rule. So uh, to, to find uh, dl d, uh, dx, sorry, dw, remember dx is, is really not important because x is constant. What we're going to do is we're going to go dl uh, da, da, uh, dz, and then dz, dw. Okay, so so keep in mind, like we have we had three. Um, so we obviously have the uh, the loss function over here, and then we have the fact that the activation is the sigmoid of z, and the z is equal to wx. Okay, so I've I've gone ahead and done the maths over here. Okay, so when you do DLDA, you get this term. DA, DZ, you get this term over here. And then finally DZ, DW, which is, which is really easy. It just simply ends up being X. Okay, um, but a little trick that you can do is this thing over here, um, this, this DA, DZ term, turns out to be exactly the same as writing A multiplied by 1 minus A. And this is going to be useful. And the reason it's useful is, can, is because it, it cancels out with this a multiplied by 1 minus a down here. Okay, so we end up with this as being our final de final derivative. Okay, um, and if you if you remember my last le lecture, we're going to be using stochastic gradient descent uh, to to get the the final uh, to, to to get the final uh, derivative to find get the final w's I suppose I should say. Um, so yeah, so again, all I'm doing is updating my w's, going w equals w minus my learning parameter, a gamma, okay, so my, sorry, my learning rate, multiplied by uh, this dl dw, okay, because keep in mind, all we want to find is, is the final w, that's the best fit, okay, so, so that's there, uh, everything else is really just aiding all of this, so I got my activation function, the error, uh, with, so the error, the error over here that I'm talking about is y minus the activation. Okay, so so this is our final um, derivative that feeds into DLTW, which which I've put in over here. Okay, so let's let's um, let's play around with this one, and let's plot the loss, and it goes it goes down like this. Okay, and just to just so that we can compare the, the true parameters. Okay, so 
the, the true parameters, uh, this time it's not going to be as straightforward as linear regression where they're going to be really close, okay? Because if you see that the signs are correct, but the numbers themselves aren't actually that close, okay? But, but what's really important is that when we, when we have a test set, okay, so when we have a, a, well in this case a random test set, what's important is that it agrees with what we, what we should find. So over here I've created a synthetic, so these the first four lines is a synthetic test set, but then what we do is we're going to go see my inferred my uh, the inferred that y that I figured out is going to be x test dotted so matrix multiply with my last uh, weight okay so params the last parameters is the last weight that I figured out it was um, so and that's what this line is doing. And what, what I'm doing over here is I'm saying if it's greater than 0.5, set it to 1. If it's less than 0.5, set it to 0. Okay, so let's see what, what it does. And if if that if this stands true, compare it with y test. Okay, so I have created 100, 100 y test values and 99 of them agree with the inferred in, in, from my algorithm. So x, x test dot with the, dub, the final w, I end up getting that. So uh, the main thing that I'm trying to get across over here is that the the logistic regression can be fairly complex thanks to this uh, gra the gradient multiplications. Okay, so it can be tedious. TensorFlow is is actually a godsend in some ways in in the sense that we really don't have to care about uh, these gradients. All right, so let's play around with TensorFlow. How do we how do we do this? Um, if, actually, I might I might stop the video there. Um, if you do have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, and uh, I will go through TensorFlow in my next video. Thank you.